What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know what it is, you know what time it is. <coughs> Welcome to the strip. Welcome to the shop. Welcome to the app. Coffee Talk app. It's your boy Big Dean. I'm in the building. And this right here, y'all. First, let me give a shout out to all my, my, my peoples. Let me give a shout, shout out to, I just be cooling with the crew. Tribulation Kids, Nirvana 30, The Dynamicist, Tia, Sandra and the Boo Bears, Dominique LeBlue, Tay Eats, The Rooks, The Kents, JC Family, and a host of others that I mess with. V Peachy's World. A lot of y'all that I mess with that I may not have said. Mayor Sasua. Homie, what's up? Uh, Share this, Mayor. Talk about this on there. I mean, put some clips up. You already know what time it is. It's, it's, you know what time it is. Been a long time coming. But I'm going to talk about this, y'all, because I wasn't going to, but I see that. Why not? This is what he do, and this is what y'all do. But I do it for a purpose. I guess you could say everybody was going to say that. But I'm going to talk about it anyway. Because I knew this was coming eventually, whether it was on the bad side or the Fugazi side. Hassan Campbell. So, let me tell you about this bozo. So, Hassan Campbell, this is the hype. This is the viral shit, y'all. This is the shit y'all came to see and hear about. Hassan Campbell shot on live. This video is not sponsored by Red Bull Coconut Berry, but shit. I bang it out. Y'all know if y'all been watching my videos, I fucks with it heavy. Um, <coughs> yeah, so let's get to this shit. So he, he shot on live, right? First, let's just get to the grid of it. Who really cares? <coughs> I know some people going to say, man, that's some fucked up shit to say. And it is. But it's real because I don't be on here just to be acting up and and and, and talking shit i be for real with what i'm saying so who gives a fuck for real is the main line y'all helping it go viral which is helping him that's cool finding dandy the bigger picture is the bullshit that's in play here first of all this nigga is a couple years away from being titled a senior citizen so you got all these supportive followers that's always talking about, oh, his message be so good. He be talking to the youth. Oh, he be telling them about they self. He be talking to snot buck and rocking and all this old stupid dumb shit. But a man that's almost a senior citizen, you still supporting this shit? Because he's still going back to, I could have swore he moved from the projects and he's staying in some little community, you know what I'm saying, secure. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, Y'all get it. But you're going down here. At all these goofy times of the day when people ain't really outside, ain't really crowded. You yelling, you belligerent, you a, you fucking goofball. People throwing shit at you. And you don't think that you supposed to have got what you got. Here's the thing. A lot of y'all don't be wanting to face the facts that some people deserve what the fuck they get. I know y'all don't be wanting to believe that. Cause some of y'all still be on that, man, I don't wish certain things on my worst enemy. And that's what be letting me know where y'all be at in the head. Because an enemy is when you're at war, you, you have an enemy. Not a rival, an enemy. Enemy is war. So I'm not weak. So when I'm at war and I have an enemy, I wish the worst on you. <coughs> <coughs> if you a person... That gets on this internet and talk shit to women. Talk about how you would do this and do that to women. And F them and how your son died and he ain't shit because you ain't shit. You ain't raising. And you talking all this to women. After you done lived a life of boy touching and jumping around and goofballing around. Claiming to be a killer and all this old stupid shit. Then your circumstance is your circumstance, bruh. What it, so we supposed to just... Oh, feel sorry for him? Look what he was doing. Somebody's mama, grandma, granddaddy, aunt, uncle, baby. Somebody was disturbed by this old ass man's antics. So you go down here where people is downtrodden, feeling bad, depressed, ain't got no money, doped up, 
to do all this. And you don't think a motherfucker's supposed to go across your head, Hassan? Man, stop the madness. Nobody should have shot you. Niggas should have ran up and put these fucking bricks on your shit. That's what they should have did. Should have ran up and shot the fair one on the line. I'm talking about brought you to your fucking knees. Boom, boom, boom. Real quick and easy. That good old step one, two, three. Oh, get him out of here. You know what I'm saying? But no, that's not what's going on. What's going on is he being goofy. It could be a play. It could not be. It could be real. I'm still on the same posture, though. If it is real, who cares? This is not big viral news. This is not the biggest or most viral thing that we could be discussing. Is Hassan and got fucking shot. Who cares? Ain't that what he said about the women whose sons fell victim to street violence? Yet here you go, being a public nuisance, and don't think that you were supposed to fall victim to street violence. Did you or did you not go back to the street to express your feelings? To yell and scream and try to make a scene and make it look so theatrical. Could have did all that goofy ass dumb shit in the same place you always do your shit at. In your fucking living room. On the couch or something, bruh. But no, you 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 walked your stupid fat swole ass outside. You 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 you're grown as hell. Out here crying about this and crying about that. Still dragging the bone on about this goofy, stupid ass bombarded shit that you could have resolved, but you chose not to. And people still entertaining this nigga. Now some might say, oh, you hating. Man, I'm not hating. I got a voice and an opinion like you, asshole. Bar. You hear me? So therefore, when I see something stupid, I have a platform, I can speak what I see and what I feel about what I saw. If you don't like it, don't finish the video. Don't come back. We won't miss you. Everybody else, this is the time when you're supposed to hit the like. If you knew, hit the subscribe. If you knew, go down in the description and become friends with some of the other people you see highlighted down there because that, that is family. Around here. Now back to the bozo. So you mean to tell me Mr. Snot Bot rocks or rocking bot, whatever almost got his box rocked off. <coughs> so they're saying I don't know if it's real or if it ain't it don't make a difference if it's real or if it's not it's all part of your circumstances that you cause you cause this to happen every cause has an effect had you not brought your fat ass out there at that time, doing what you was doing, that would not have occurred. So, here's an example to all your followers that you full of shit. Because here's a man that y'all say talk so much positive shit and be saying so much. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, now he's got mental health. And everybody got fucking mental health going on around here. Everybody's stressed out. Everybody got PSTD. We all come through war and trauma. Whether it was overseas war or homeland war. War is war. Everybody express it different. True that. So if you express it the wrong way, you deserve the consequences that suit your shit. He obviously, according to y'all, is expressing his shit in the wrong way. So he getting the wrong consequences. Oh, fucking well. I'm happy for you. Because you were happy for those moms who lost their sons to the same stupid shit 
that you perpetuating and showing and using to get likes and views with at the moment. I'm proud of whatever come from your circumstances, though. So I never want to see a person. Well, I'm lying now. Okay, that's a lie. I, I'm different. If you on some fuck shit, you deserve fuck shit actions. I don't be biting the bullet. I don't be, you know what I'm saying, how you used to be back in school and people say, oh, I had some homies say some shit one time. I used to go to jail niggas be saying shit like, ah, oh, man, I, man, I wouldn't wish that shit on nobody, man. I'm my worst enemy. But see, you weak as fuck because if you my worst enemy, I wish the worst for you. Again, must I reiterate, Hassan is a nuisance to the community. He speaks down on women. He speaks down on the children. He actually speaks down on the youth. Y'all just don't catch it because y'all caught up in the way he's delivering it to y'all. It's entertaining. But some of y'all ain't thinking and listening to the words that he's saying and how the context is actually the opposite of what he would like you to be thinking. Not that he's brilliant. It's just that that's what it is, the psychological fuck up that he's dealing with. Some of y'all need to catch up. Everybody that you follow don't have to become your hero. Everybody that you follow don't have to be influential to you because they're titled as an influencer. Boy, I tell you. It's a lot of BS going on in these YT streets. And this right here is some of the messiest bullshit. But as we all do, come in here and get our snippets of the wave. Y'all know, I'm always going to give you my perspective on what I see that's going on. The right way though. No if ands, and buts. Unbiased. An asshole is an asshole. It stink the same, no matter where it's at and who it's on. I sign this shit stink. You stink for it. Your whole love following and all that shit stink for it. Anybody who's supporting you stink for it. You motherfuckers should work for Charmin. Invest in some Charmin. Cause that's what you need to clean this mess up. You're gonna need a whole lot of toilet paper because this is a world class shit show. But as I always tell y'all, man, come through, holler at your boy, jump in my comment section. I ain't one of them people who don't talk back. Jump down there, have some dialogue, speak what you feel about this. We talk back. Don't say no goofy sideways shit. Don't don't think hey, hey. respects. And shout out to all of the family. Thanks for supporting. Continue to support. Share it out. You know what time it is. It's your boy, Big Dane. I'll be back in a minute.